At the end of the recording session, I told Anna, composers often refer to their pieces as their children. And I have to say that I really feel that this child is in good hands. I remember Ralph Shapey, who was the um, composer in residence at Tanglewood, he said that composing is performance on paper. And so it's really the, the sound of the composition, not the, the intellectual formation of that. My mother asked me to write some playable, easy, tonal pieces that she could play for her church service. At uh, this one, was the very first of that series. And so that whole idea kind of evolved into a continuing project, which is continuing to this day and beyond. And because my mother asked me for these and she passed away in 2015, I subsequently subtitled it In Memoriam. I majored in piano as an undergraduate, and then I transferred to UC Berkeley as a graduate student in composition. And from there, it was like a lot of analysis, a lot of technical stuff, the intellectual, the theoretical. Um, and I, I really um, actually enjoyed that. At this point in my life, that whole intellectual thing, the whole balance, so to speak, has reversed. I do a lot of improvisation at the piano now. I record myself, I transcribe if I want. Um, so the immediacy of the sound and the improvisation, which has become the most important aspect of my music now. I have to say that I'm not used to this experience. This, this is a total awesome, rewarding experience, and I'll tell you why. Here, it's like, how is it, Peter? It's so collaborative and um, welcoming. I'm not used to that. It's, it's amazing. And of course, I guess if one stops to think about it, well, why shouldn't it be? I'm very um, overjoyed and impressed. Music is about not the here and now, but passing that on to others is really, really important because you're, you're not passing on, well, you know, technique and you're passing on a legacy of some kind.